Imagine a large asteroid colliding with the world and killing off humanity. Many of us would most likely perish if we were in this situation. So, what if humanity could colonize another planet in order to preserve human existence? Yes, we can because Elon Musk's company SpaceX has built a vehicle called the Starship to make living on Mars feasible. If you don't know much about the Starship, don't fret because in today's video, we will share with you 5 facts about the Starship. Let's get started! Number 5. It's a formidable weapon. The Moon and Mars expeditions will necessitate a Starship. Elon Musk has long wanted to lead the eventual colonization of the Mars terrain because he wants to save humankind as a race. The ambition of the American billionaire is to launch an unmanned expedition to Mars by 2024, with manned missions following in 2026. By 2023, a commercial voyage all across the Moon might be achievable to establish the goal of establishing a colony on the Martian by 2050. We're still a few years away, but we're getting there. One fascinating feature that makes the Starship formidable is that SpaceX's Starship will be able to refuel without having to come back to Earth. On the subject of refueling, there have been some claims that it would be done using kerosene. But is this true? Stay with us because we'll get to the bottom of this soon. Number 4. Methane is used. The sort of kerosene used in spaceships is RP-1, a highly processed quality that can remain in a fluid condition on a launch platform for hours without causing any difficulties. So, why should SpaceX's Starship not run on kerosene? The true concern is coking. When kerosene is burnt, it produces undesirable products, most notably soot. With time, this residue clogs engines, rendering the reuse of engine parts without renovation a headache. Don't get us wrong, kerosene rocket engines aren't exactly revolutionary. It's been there since. The F-1 engines on the Saturn V rockets that sent Apollo astronauts to the moon in the late 1960s utilized kerosene as fuel. But the kerosene used to ignite your burner, which is similar to the fuel used to power spacecraft, will not function on the Starship. As a result, methane appears to be the best choice. Although methane is less efficient than hydrogen, it can be stored for a long period in metal containers. Methane is not as simple to deal with as kerosene, but it's far more potent and doesn't produce coking. Different from kerosene, methane can readily be manufactured on the Martian crust. It's vital to remember that the trip to Mars will take a long time, so the appropriate fuel must be utilized. Elon Musk, on the other hand, wants to shorten the journey using the Starship. Continue watching to know more on this. Before we move on to number 3, kindly subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our content. Number 3. It's Steel Made When determining what materials to use to build a rocket's body, your choice must have a number of desired features. It must be sturdy enough to withstand the heaviness of the rocket cargo and fuel while simultaneously being lightweight enough not to contribute significantly to the overall weight. It needs to be able to withstand the extreme temperature fluctuations that come with holding extremely cold cryogenic fuel. Starship is built of steel, primarily a mix of 301 and 304 L stainless steel, and can withstand temperatures between 1,500 and 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit. When confronted with mild cryogenic temperatures, steel has the propensity to strengthen. Number 2. Capacity of 100 Passengers SpaceX plans to take up to 100 people on its trips. This means that assuming we progressed in space colonization technology, the Earth will be able to ship people to Mars for the first time and return them to Earth. You may believe that the back and forth will consume a significant amount of time. We know it's a journey to Mars, but it would not. Another advantage of SpaceX's journey to Mars is that it will be completed in a very short duration. As per Musk, the journey should take roughly 80 days, which is extraordinarily fast when compared to previous trips like NASA's Mariner 4, which lasted 228 days. Number 1. It can land The SpaceX Falcon 9 is now the only space rocket that has successfully landed, with around 70% of the rocket recovered. The landing of the Starship will be much more challenging because it is aiming for substantially better performance than the Falcon 9. Not only will the spaceship have to land, 
but so will the Super Heavy Booster Stage, which makes up the totality of the vehicle. The landing process is somewhat different from the Falcon 9 rocket. The Starship will have to perform a belly flop. Consider how a dolphin leaps from the water to have a better grip on the situation. The Starship is designed to transport humans into space, so we're curious what it's like to be inside one during a belly flop. I hope we won't find puke on the passengers when they disembark from the Starship. That's all we got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I hope to see you again soon.